Talk to me about this Apple Watch business and what you think about it, where it's you know, what the numbers are going to be like, and maybe bigger picture, sort of where you see the, the growth there, if, if any. It's early, and it's going to, right now the applications are good, but they're, they're not the same wow experience you have with your phone. I mean, is it another iPad or is it another Apple TV? It's, it's ultimately going to be another iPad. Uh, hopefully before iPad had its kind of downturn, but it, ultimately this is a big platform for them. Wearables in general, which is, gets us into a whole other topic, which is augmented virtual reality, but this mm -hmm. is kind of the, the segue into it. Where the watch becomes gangbusters is when it can stand on its own. Right now it needs to be paired with a phone. And once they figure the battery out, it's probably a few years down the road, but you'll see a standalone watch. And I think at that point, that's when some of the... the so it'll be really Dick Tracy. You won't need the phone in your pocket to... to you won't need the phone. phone. People but want different screen sizes for different times of the day, and that's the, that's the approach. That's what's holding it back there right now, right? That, that connection to the phone. I think so. I think, you know, there's the app piece. Some of that could solve with a new operating system that they just came out with. So the quality of the apps are going to start to improve. But when you think about this really going vertical, yeah. it's going to probably take the watch as a standalone to do, do that. Do you like it? Do you use it actively? I do. I mean, I, I use it every day. And the, the times when I don't charge it, I fall asleep uh, too early and forget to put it. I'm, I'm kind of frustrated. I've bought several chargers now to make sure I have one. So. I'm in the camp who actually likes it, but uh, there's certain things that I'm, I'm really passionate your, about. Your um, uh, initial, I thought your you you really interesting way to think of it when you first started publishing about this was saying that there's been an attach rate and it's sort of an accessory to the iPhone yeah. and a yep. certain percentage of users, just as a certain percentage of users will use a Bluetooth wireless headset, a certain percentage of users of the iPhone will have the ultimate iPhone accessory, the watch. What do you think, that, do you, do you think that's still the right way to look at it and do you, what do you think the attach rate is? I think it is the right way to look at it. In the most recent quarter, it was around 10 or 12 percent, something like that, because they, they sold about that's the the, mm -hmm. the current attach rate. I'm sorry, it's about six percent. It's about six percent. Right. So uh, th there is a attach rate side to it. I, I think at the end of the day, is that you got to look at this as a consumer technology play. Once it doesn't have to deal with the attach piece of it, the pairing part. That's when it goes mainstream, and I think we're a few. If you years look old. at the numbers of Fitbits sold, for example, I mean, uh, we, I mentioned that we're both wearing Jawbone. Well, Fitbit dominates that mm -hmm. market. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, they've done Apple, of course, entering into this according to IDC numbers. Apple has entered into this and, and has a very big play in the first quarter that the devices were out there. Um, but in Garmin, another really interesting company that that, has, that sells a lot of these things. But there's clearly a big market there for wearables. There is a big market. I'm, I'm curious, uh, maybe quick on a scale of 1 to 10, what you think of your Fitbits. Oh, the Jawbones? The I Jawbone, mean, yeah. So I'll speak for Carol, well, okay. my, my work wife, my New York work <laughs> wife. Um, we're both irritated by it all the time. We both wear it every single day. I okay. have to tell you, my first, the first time I got it, I mean, I went through three or four or five because they kept breaking down. Okay, well. And that was frustrating. But, Corey, to your oh, point, you, you want you it. You want it. it. And what's happening is this is one segment that they're really going after, which is really just kind of monitoring your fitness and the gamification of that. There's also like Target's doing is they're deploying them to a lot of their employees and, and kind of for health and wellness. What, so I think that's a segment in itself. And then there's yeah. the wearable segment. That's got to be a huge segment. We just had another guest on this week talking about, you know, if you can get corporations, you come in, you become a new employee, you get your ID, you get, you go we through. We have Fitbit on. And Fitbit's or, got a wellness, wellness right. program where they go to corporations and they sell 30,000 at, at a moment to the, all the employees of a company. Do you see right. that the norm someday where you become a new employee and you get some kind of wearable that's tracking your health? I think you do, but I think the, the level, the sophistication of the wearable is going to go up dramatically. And so I think what, what you have on there isn't going to cut it a few years from now.